Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I attach my parts and how I get clean smooth lines and smooth paint. So I'll take a sharpie and I will go over all the hard lines and I'll use a piece of 320 and I'll just quickly go over all that, make sure all the sharpie is gone. Nice and smooth all the way across. Smooth just like that. Now you will go across to all the panel joints. And I'll make sure all these are smooth over. Nice and smooth. And if you can see, there's a mold line here. So I have the Sharpie on there. I'll sand that off and then I'll go over all the flat spots with 320. Make sure that paint is really smooth. You can even hear the difference between 320 and not 320. It really does make a difference when you do your primer. It doesn't take a lot to to do this. I'll usually smooth over anywhere where there is a uh, panel joint or any type of seam. Just like that. All nice and smooth. So then I will go and 320 the rest of this hood. Just like that, all ready for paint. I've already done the rest of this. You know, I'll take the 320, go in all the window areas, everywhere on the bottom, everywhere. So when I glue stuff, uh, the parts usually come on the Christmas trees. I will use a tweezers and cut this as flush as I can. Pretty smooth. Then I'll bring that 320 back out. Smooth that up real quick. Don't need to take out a, off a lot. You just need to get it smooth. And I always glue the parts on beforehand because this is 320. These are properly prepped with the gray scuffy pad and Dawn and dish soap parts and shell so then I'll just take the part some super glue a little bit there a little in the middle a little on the pegs and I will go ahead and just plop that on hold it up real good and just repeat that for everything on the car the front lip I'm going to assemble it before I paint it, but on something like that, uh, I could definitely see painting the whole car and then attaching a lip like that. But uh, I'm confident that it'll look just fine if I super glue it on. When I want to fill holes, now that this is drying, we can move on to the next piece. I'm doing the rear antenna delete. I'll take some super glue, just dab it in there, and wait for that to dry. And then, again, 320. Just get it nice and smooth. Can't even, can't even feel it. Once I have all these parts attached to the car, I'll prime it with some surface primer. And move on to masking it up for base coat. I'll be doing a two-tone of pink and yellow, so I'll be using fine line tape on this. 
on the parts that don't take paint and I will use a multi uh, liquid chrome pen. I will take a lighter and melt the Christmas trees together because the wipers always come on a flat piece like this and it makes it easier to stand it up if you just melt it up together. I'll take my chrome marker and mark these up and let these dry two, three days. Uh, usually it comes out pretty nice. If you handle it too fast, you'll leave fingerprints in it. Uh, yeah, in the next video, I'll show you what it looks like mid-step before I lay the yellow and the clear. And then in the last video, I'll show you how I do all the final details. The parts that don't get glued on before paint. I always do these last. Thank you for watching.